Hey guys, so I'm going through a few new releases and I started to notice a little bit of something in common. So we've got the Peach and Lily Rescue Party Barrier Restore Serum. We've got the Peach and Lily Rescue Party Barrier Comfort Cream. We've got the Biosense Squalane and Ectoin Overnight Rescue Skin Barrier Enhances Skin Repair Moisturizer. We've got the Drunk Elephant Bora Barrier Repair Cream. We've got the Polish Choice Barrier Repair Advanced Moisturizer. And then a uh, couple of uh, newer releases. The Ordinary Soothing and Barrier Repair Serum. The Numbazin Sika Repair Cream. And the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Advanced Barrier Cream. Uh, and now Kiehl's just recently released a few new products in this lineup. Do you notice the, the common theme in all of these? Barrier repair. So let's talk about it. Your skin barrier. Okay, so what is your skin barrier? Most of you probably know this, but uh, it's the protective outermost layer of skin. It's also called the stratiocornum. It's also known as what they call the brick wall. Um, it's basically just dead dead uh, skin cells and it's dead cells, lipids, proteins, fats. It protects your skin from environmental damage. Uh, the rest of your skin is alive, but your skin barrier is all dead skin cells. Kind of gross when you think about it. And the barrier, the point of it, the purpose of it is it, it protects your skin uh, from bacteria, toxins, pollutants, chemicals. Uh, it keeps those out at the same time keeping water and moisture in. So it's an the most important part of your skin. Well, I mean, they're all important, but super important part. Uh, signs to know when your skin barrier is damaged, dryness, scaliness, flakiness, cracking, uh, inflammation, itchiness, redness, sensitivity, stinging, especially like when you apply products and you notice they sting. Sometimes, uh, I know most of us instantly think it's the product, but sometimes it could just be your skin reacting. Uh, because it's damaged, the barrier is damaged. Uh, sometimes acne and breakouts, and then bacterial and fungal infections are another sign of it. And things that can damage your skin barrier that you want to avoid, well, some of you can't avoid, weather changes, extreme cold and dry air. Uh, although I will say, uh, this Christmas, it's been 54 and raining out. I it's taken me back a long time to think of a Christmas where it was 55 and raining out. I really, I can think of maybe one, maybe a long, long time ago. But anyway, it really doesn't feel like Christmas when there's no snow and it's kind of warm out. You don't even need your jacket. Um, so weather changes. Uh, excessive water exposure, like swimming or at the beach. Sometimes that can dry out your skin and damage it. Allergen exposure. Over exfoliating your skin which is an interesting point because a lot of these brands have uh, products that are really strong exfoliants. The Paul's Choice got their peel. Um, oh, Drunk Elephant, they've got their uh, baby facial, which is pretty strong. Anyway, so I kind of find it interesting when some of these brands release these barrier repair products uh, that go right along with the products that may damage your skin. Uh, over exfoliant, so harsh soaps and cleansers. A lot of products, it's hard to find a soap, face soap anymore. They're really, I mean, I guess there are soaps, but it, soaps are different than cleansers and things like that. Or harsh cleansers that are too strong or contain uh, strong uh, surfactants in there. Too much sun exposure, steroid use, uh, and I mean topical steroids, not other steroids. Maybe that causes it too, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't dabbled in that. So um, allergens, irritants, pollutants, genetics, and then... Sadly, aging, not much any of us can do about some of those, but obviously there's a lot of things we can do to help protect it. Um, gentle products, uh, the pH of your skin acid mantle is 4.7, so products with a pH around that are typically going to be more gentle than like super strong exfoliants where the pH is like around 2. Uh, the best example I have for that would be the Sunday Riley um, exfoliant. I can't remember the name. Oh, Good Jeans. That one's very low pH, very strong. Uh, <clears throat> using soap-free cleansers or sometimes just a warm water rinse if your skin's really damaged. Uh, as long as you don't have like sunscreen on. I mean, if you have sunscreen on, you're going to need to use a cleanser because a warm water rinse probably isn't going to do the trick for most of them. Uh, simplifying your routine, taking a lot of 
uh, irritants out of there. The less products you have, the less chance you'll have an irritation from one of them. Keeping your skin moisturized. Look for products that contain ceramides, fatty acids, and lipids. Be cautious of overuse of retinoids, exfoliants, and certain acne products. Some of those acne products, if you're using them sometimes twice a day, they can be very harsh. So be very cautious about that. And then other plant oils that can really help with your bear repair, jojoba oil, coconut oil, almond oil, uh, argan oil, almond oil, um, borage oil, rosehip oil, sunflower oil, soybean oil, primrose oil, and black currant oil are all going to be uh, your best friends. So let me talk about a few of these. So this is the newest Drunk Elephant product. I find it to be super thick. I don't find it to be super aesthetically pleasing to use for uh, ingredients in here. It's got good oils, evening primrose oil, jojoba seed oils in here. We've got fatty acids, rosehip oil. Um, yeah, so it's got some good things in here that will help with your berry repair, but I just find the texture. Um, I can use it at night, but I do find a lot of times when I use it, I'm peeling it off. So anyway, so here it is. I talked about this in another video, but um, here it is. So it's got a thicker texture. The texture, like the Lala whipped cream, a little bit, it's got a thick texture, but a little bit goes a long way. It's very spreadable. This one I didn't find the same thing. I found a little bit of this does not go a long way. It takes several pumps, a couple of pumps to cover my face and it's just, it's thicker. I couldn't imagine you using this in my daytime routine. I'll, I'll play with it and try it, but so far from what I find using it in my evening routine, um, I don't test necessarily love the texture, but um, it does feel nice on the skin and perhaps I'll keep playing with it because I've only had it a, a little over a week. But it's interesting. So on Sephora, I think this has 304 reviews. And if you click on verified purchase, you get one as of yesterday or last night. So I've got 303 reviews of people that got it for free and then one actual verified review. And to be honest, I don't know how anybody could do a real thorough review of something when it's not been out very long. I don't know. But anyway, I'm finding it thick. It's got the good ingredients that will help with your bear repair, but the, the uh, aesthetically pleasing part isn't quite there. But I'm going to keep testing it because perhaps it's something else that's not playing well with that's causing it to peel off. Anyway, I'm going to keep playing with it. Um, okay, so the Biosan Squalane Ectoin Overnight Rescue Bear Repair Serum or Cream. This stuff's really nice. Actually, I'm really liking this. Um, so for ingredients, we've got squalane in here. Ectoin's a really good uh, ingredient. It's got some peptides in here. It's got a couple fatty acids. Um, yeah, so jojoba esters. I would have loved to see another oil in here or something, but anyway, it's overall, it's pretty nice. I've played around with it a few days now. Um, Packaging is nice. Biosans was sold to the Hut Group, FYI. So anyway, that's a bummer. The Hut Group owns like Derm Store, um, Skin Store, Cult Beauty. They're really big into Derm. Yeah, they're getting big into the U.S. now. So, okay. So I'm just peeling this off the top of it. So here we go. Not crazy about the jar packaging, but anyway, the texture of this stuff is uh, much more spreadable and very nice. Although... In terms of bear repairing ingredients, uh, the Drunk Elephant is a little bit more impressive in terms of that. The price of these are pretty close as well. Um, they're not too far off in price. They're both very expensive. So anyway, so so far I enjoy the texture of this one more, but I enjoy the ingredients of the dr Drunk Elephant more. Okay, next up, the Peach and Lily. So we've got the serum. So, and I will link to all these below. Okay, so for the serum, let's talk about the ingredients. We've got oat kernel oil. That's a really good one for soothing. Uh, oat brand. We've got ceramides. Ceramides so good for bear repair. Fatty acids in here. Uh, vitamin E. Panthenol squalane. Yeah, so I haven't used this one yet. It just came recently. Oh, hang on. Come on, there we go. Priming the pump. Priming the pump. It's a lot of priming. Okay. So it's definitely got a uh, thicker serum -y texture, which I, I thought it would be a little thicker, but it really uh, feels lightweight. So anyway, okay, so that one feels nice. Let's get to the moisturizer cream. The exciting part, the rescue party barrier comfort cream. So 
Let's see what do we got in here. We've got oatmeal, we've got ceramides, we've got fatty acids, we've got amino acids, so we've got hyaluronic acid, panthenol, mugwort, jojoba oil, and some more fatty acids, so, and vitamin E. So, looks pretty good. Let's see how thick this stuff is and how they recommend using it, I'm very curious. So, let's see, massage onto clean skin morning and evening, so. Let's see if this one might feel a little bit nicer in terms of texture. Because so far, the drunk elephant in the Biosense, for me, those are evening only in terms of the thickness and texture. But I'll keep playing with them. Okay. And maybe I'll find they somehow work okay in my morning routine. So this stuff looks pretty thick. Not totally crazy about the jar, but... Okay, there we go. Took a little chunk out of there. Yeah, this one feels more spreadable and lighter. So, feels nice though, anyway. And you know what, the interesting thing is none of these feel really greasy, you'd think, or shiny or radiant. You'd think with um, a lot of those fatty oils and ceramides, you'd think it'd feel greasy or look shiny, and none of them really do. So, that's that's interesting. Uh, and then the other ones have been out for a while. The Paula's Choice one. Um, what does this one have in here? We've got squalane, ceramides, shea butter. Urea is another good one. Watermelon seed oil. That's another good one. And I have not used this one yet. So I'm going to have to cut the little label off. Hang on. Or peel it off. There we go. So let's give this one a whirl. Here we go. Oof, that was a big pump there. So that one's very spreadable. It's probably the most spreadable one of all of them, aside from this serum from Peach and Lynn. This one, this one's a little more shiny than the others. So let me see. How do they recommend using this? Evening. Just use it once, oh, once or twice daily, but typically it says moisturize PM. So I think they're going for the evening, so... Anyway, it feels nice. This one's also has some peptides in there. So, um, anyway, so I'll definitely do a full review for these. But I there's a lot of good products for your bear repair. But focus on uh, things that are hydrating, fatty oils, and simple and gentle cleanser. That's going to be I think using a gentle cleanser is going to be probably the biggest thing. In addition to making sure your skin gets its moisture back, but being very gentle with it. So. Um, anyway, so yeah, lots of goodies in here. Um, so interested in hearing from you guys if you've checked any of these out yet or not. It's my favorite time of year, aside from, uh, well, Christmas sales. Uh, all the good new stuff comes out at the beginning of the year, so I always love that. So I'm all jazzed up for that. So anyway, hope everyone had a good uh, holiday and a good new year. And I will uh, see you guys tomorrow. Thanks so much. Bye, guys.